Hello everyone, this is uh, Shed Race from Sky 2024, and this is a wrap. This is a great, team, great uh, sessions. Uh, the meeting was really busy, a lot of stuff happened. So we're gonna come to you just top highlight of uh, the Sky and what, what have been done and we'll go from there. So let's start with the youngest of the group. <laughs> Tell us about uh, the Sky as in um, the 30 at under 30 award. Yeah, so I think Sky started this 30 in the 30s couple of years ago. Yes. It's a, mm -hmm. a league career recognition award. Yeah. Uh, they select, you know, apply for it. You sel uh, they select uh, 30 people um, with, you know, who have demonstrated research and leadership skills. I think it's a yeah. good platform to sort of network, have some mentorship, and you know, uh, grow grow yourself as a, and I think a this is leader in, in Sky. Yeah, I never seen anything like this in other society. I think this is something new initiative, which is kind of encouraging and get more people involved. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, what, what, uh, what what intrigued you the most at this high from the peripheral space? A lot of good data came out of the Pearl space. The Venus track was actually great this time. It, it uh, you know, Venus disease is sort of underrepresented in our meetings, and I think this year it was well attended. Um, a lot of high level talk, um, so I think that was a very good um, uh, session. PE was also very well highlighted. A great PE workshop, um, also very high level talk in in terms of management where the trials are heading and where the, the space is heading. Um, there was some nice uh, late breakers, the revive trial uh, data analysis of individual patients, um, really focused on women, which are an underrepresented uh, population in a lot of these PAD trials, showed that um, the benefit extends to them equally when it comes to femoral popliteal uh, revascularization with endovascular similar to bypass, which is a, it's a, it's a very good um, area to highlight here. Absolutely. Yeah. So Eric, again, as an academician, as a, you have been one of the awardees for the grants that's uh, offered by Sky. So let's walk the audience through it and congratulations to you for presenting your data and how people can get involved. Yeah, I mean, I think something special about what's going on in Sky right now is their really desire to listen to us, their, you know, their people and, and tailor their efforts to really help all of us advance in our careers. So the 30 and their 30s really bringing in the next generation of Sky leadership early in their career and helping them develop. And then also the Sky Early Career Research Grants, trying to create a pathway to really fund uh, high quality research to try to push the field forward. Um, we had you know two really great grants this year, Andy Goldzweig, um, uh, who uh, presented research looking at the differences in type of diabetes and cardiovascular events. Um, I was fortunate to be one of the other recipients looking at trends in peripheral vascular care in the context of many outside influences, including the pandemic. And so, you know, I think just pushing what the influence as Guy has on both the, the field and whole, as well as the academic nature of this society is really critical and really shine this year. Yeah. How was the photo track? Kind of comments. Yeah. It was it was great, you know. So there a lot of training, a lot of uh, hands-on sessions this year. Um, you know, a lot of uh, talk about new imaging techniques. I was, you know, with more data coming on about optimization of, you know, uh, use of iOS and optimization of PCI. So there was more and more focus on that, which I think, you know, Sky is aligning well with the new data and, you know. Um, yeah, we're sitting here in the, in the central, Sky Central, I mean, there's a lot of events happening, a lot of uh, sessions and hands-ons happening, yeah. and the poster session as well for residents. I feel like there's a lot of residents showed up this time. One of the yeah. you know sessions which was particularly exciting, I think, was Tricuspid, with now the tier and uh, TTVR for Tricuspid valve disease uh, being approved. So I think Sky did a good job on focusing on those topics, and this is a new learning for everyone so uh, you know they are talking about patient selection and you know trial data and sort of learn together about how to go from here and what do we need to focus on in terms of imaging and use of this technology. Yeah. No, I was just highlighting also your comment about the posters and research. You know, we had uh, some of our, our research students out here presenting, putting up posters. I think that's such an important part of any meeting and was really nice they attended this year and some oral theater stations as well to help yes. highlight some of the research through a presentation. So is, I think really happy to see that. I think I mean, you have the chance to present your poster, but also the discussion that happened in theater one and two was very important. Absolutely. Just interacting with the audience and also I think I think it's really important training to start learning how to present and speak early in your career and so having that opportunity was key.
Yeah, there are also uh, sessions on leadership and program directors yes. for interventional programs yes. came together, discussed the new initiative of joining the match. Um, a lot of opportunities for applicants to meet the, the program directors, you know, show face and and um, and ask about these programs. So it's a it's a great place for that as and well. Also, there was a session on challenges in the cat lab and all, uh, how to deal with the challenging time, with the high turnover of employees, nurses, techs, how you navigate that. And there was a hands-on workshop on different people sit together, express their problems, and then come back to the grounding or the leader of the table with some solution. Huh. Yeah. Well, I think it was a great meeting. I mean, overall, I think it was uh, phenomenal. I think Sky comes better every year. The attendance, I was told, higher than last year. It's a long Wonderful. beach. I think the location definitely helps. Right. <laughs> Next year, going to be in the DC. So it's going to be a bit more convenient to the East Coast coasters than the people on <laughs> this year. But again, um, there's multiple opportunity. After this meeting in a week, there will be a call for uh, application for council involvement. That's a different track. There's at least 17 council and subgroup or group working group that you can get involved in. The link will be posted under this video, as well as apply for ELM, application for grants, application for the fellows course, all these kind of opportunities from Sky. Thank you all for your really uh, great overview and wrap, and I uh, will see you next year. Thank, Thank you, Shadi. See you, you next year. Thank you.